Antonio Delgado, Philip Litvin, Jean Marquette, Taylor Kenyon, Casey Allen, Sunday Wallace, Anshala Davidova, Marissa Williams, Lauren Van Auerkirk, Austin Hunt, Ashley Lundgren, Miguel Montiel, Jackson Peterson, Joseph Sandoval, Nadezhda Kurishko, Rosa D'Ambrosio, Abby Weston, Jessica Bella, Isabel Delar, Leah Yano, Elizabeth Carrillo, Courtney Albright, Vlad Sibirko, Brennan Millet, Leah Kozlov, Dan Petrinko. radical faith I would say um, really coming to this program and coming into encounters just the first week of, of this program um, I got just kind of shook by the spirit you know really got to experience a love that I'd never really felt before in my own head like clicked something that really inspired me to experience God in a way that I'd never really experienced him before in my in my faith and to really just give my life to Jesus in a way that I'd never expected I would Nothing much. Ready for Vacaville? I'm so excited. I love road trip. Hey, Vacaville! Excited to drive with all ladies? I can't. Vic, how do you feel about that? <laughs> Ask Vlad's van about that one. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Vacaville. I'm living at the Golden State Bridge. And um, everyone was taking selfies together and like no one asked me to take one with them. Like, it like, made me feel super bad about myself. I was like, crap, why does anyone want to take one with me? I just felt like God timed me like, like he would take a selfie with me. And it's like kind of funny, but like I just felt like loved by God. That really helped break um, insecurities and helped uh, break me being timid. Ricky, what, what about you? What are you expecting? God tonight? is going to peel me like this banana. Oh my gosh, he's peeling off the layers right now. is like been the most impactful thing for me. These people are like the most incredible people I've ever met. They make me want to serve God more. They make me want to grow in my relationship with God more. And just constantly having that group of people to be around me and encourage me has just been incredible.
never good academically all through my school career. I had D's and F's, but coming here to the classes, I was able to see how how cool and how widespread the Bible is, and how much it covers, and and what it pertains to, not just uh, spirituality, but day-to-day -day practical needs that we as Christians need. And um, when my eyes were open to that, I absolutely fell in love with it. And to this day. Um, I'm taking my second year classes and each day I sit in these classes I'm able to, to intake more and more from these pastors who have just devoted their lives to understanding and applying the Bible and uh, everything that comes with that and I just fell so much in love with it and to the day I die I will always be somebody who is a student of the Bible. the great privilege of going to the Dream Center and one of our outreaches was going out to the food truck. I was asked to be in the prayer team because I was one of a, a handful of people who could speak Spanish and uh, the population there was predominantly Hispanic. I was opened up to see people the way uh, God saw people. And what that did for me really was just, um, it just really like changed my heart and, and put in perspective of what to bring back to Ventura. God just really instilled boldness in me to, to just go after people and, and, and just uh, share Jesus with them and, and love on them. So. What are you expecting? Craziness. <laughs> this internship that they had at Life Church over in Uganda, um, it just like, it's crazy to see the similarities and just to see how God, the same God that's working in me and in our interns here is working in them. And like, it just goes to show just like, my God is so much greater than I realize. Being on the island, just God just just began to like really reveal my issues and just things I needed to work on, and I just became so aware of that. And I believe God just started replacing those those falls in me and started flipping it and turning boldness into me. And I just felt like God gave me a whole new perspective, how I see things and how I see people, and just how I love people, and, and just I just have a whole new passion. Through this missions trip, um, I've, I've gone through like so many situations where I had to rely more on God than myself and whether it was finances or even meeting people and having them judge me and in this mission trip you're, you're stretched so much and I feel like now I have this authority, this confidence that hey, God is behind me and if he's behind me, nothing can stop me. I, I see this guy, and, and he's just like sitting on the side, and uh, I just I just told him, I was like, can I pray with you? You know, and he was like, yes, yes, yes. And God told me, he was like, I, I want to redeem him. And I told my interpreter, I was like, tell him that God wants to redeem him today, not tomorrow, not in the past, but he wants to do it today. And then and then he just began to translate that, and the guy was like, I need to be redeemed. And, and like, I mean, we were seeing miracles like that all the time. See what I'm about to do. Get a vision for your life.
exposed my giftings and, and really allowed me to have confidence in leadership, just seeing it and, and confidence in growing as, uh, as, a, as a godly man, what it's really taught me. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. When I was 14, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. But this year, during an interim prayer time, I felt God tell me to come to the altar for healing. And I didn't even know that that was what he wanted to do in my life. But I just felt him saying that I had been healed of all of that and that I just felt a weight come off of my shoulders and I'm a completely different person now. Before coming in Zerns, I was honestly lost, broken, hurt, but being here in interns and, and what it really means to encounter a real love that uh, can change your life from the inside out. Hey class of 2015, what an amazing year it's been. I am proud of each and every single one of you. Uh, the scripture that comes to mind for me this year is uh, 3 John 4.1 and it says that I have no greater joy than to see that my students are walking in the truth. And I love that each and every one of you are walking in the truth of God, that you have uh, just this year seen fa the faith of God arise in you. I think faith is another word that marks this class. We've seen so many miracles healings, people getting cars, financial miracles. And so I want to encourage you, live by faith and not by sight. And my wife and I, we've been honored to have you uh, in our home to share this year with you. Uh, we love you guys so much, are so proud of what God's done in you. Go and change the world. Generation Interns Class 2015, I cannot believe we've come to the end of another year. Paul says in Acts that when they had come to the end of those days, that they prayed, they laughed, they cried, and we feel the same way. Now, my friends, it's time for you to go and reach your destiny, to reach your Rome. For some of you, it will be entertainment, film, uh, being a mom, a dad, a husband, a wife, a preacher, a pastor, uh, someone in business. But it's now time to influence our generation for Jesus Christ. It has been an honor and a privilege to pastor you, teach you, train you, to see your heart for Jesus Christ. This year has been unique because collectively it truly has been an Acts 2 experience where we have been in one place, Ventura, the city of God, in one accord with one mind and one passion to see the beauty and the reality of Jesus Christ. My friends, my prayer is that you would grow in grace and the knowledge of Jesus. Let his beauty draw you into himself and then you will see you will become like Christ. Don't focus on where you're weak. Don't focus where you struggle. Focus on the beauty of Jesus Christ and you will be transformed from glory to glory and that's what I see. I see your life going from one glory to another glory. God's love is upon you. His grace is with you and our prayers are with you. We love you. Have a great time tonight. Mahalo.